What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have something very quick and easy, something that you can mix and match any of the other effect tutorials that I put out on my channel. And it's something that's going to spice up a lot of your videos, no matter what it is you are making. So I'm talking about this thermal flash effect. So I actually stumbled across this seeing the new NHL 21 video game reveal trailer. I thought it was really cool. There was a lot of different things that they were able to mix with it, which we've talked about on the channel. And again, I think it's a very versatile effect. You can use it for montages, music videos, blogs, whatever it is you are creating. So today, not only am I going to show you how we can replicate this thermal look like this, but I'm going to show you five different variations that you can do with this, ways you can use this as a transition, ways you can mix different things like animation, like overlays that we've talked about in the past with this effect. All right, guys. So first, let me show you how to create this thermal effect in both Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. We have a mixture of some music clips, some sports clips. So let's find a spot where this effect will go nicely, probably right about here. Here, control K to make a cut. The look is a lot easier, a lot better within Adobe After Effects. But if you're trying to find something quick and easy within Adobe Premiere, you can search for a little channel invert effect. You can mess around with the different channels. So I put this on saturation to kind of get that blue and orange. And you can also add in multiple inverts here. If you're in your color workspace within Adobe Premiere, you can use your Lumetri color panel on the right to mix and match. You're going to have different results depending on the footage. You can even hold down Alt and just drag up to duplicate this. And then you can right click and just remove all the attributes off the bottom. Select the top clip that has all the effects in your effect controls in the top left. Just go to your opacity and you can experiment with different blending modes. You can lower and raise the opacity. Wide range of different stuff here. So I just messed around with some of the blending mode again, throwing some of those inverts in there, ones on saturation, ones on a color. And then I also applied a little glow preset as well. So that's the quick, easy way within Adobe Premiere. We're going to show you the better way within Adobe After Effects. So we'll start with this normal clip here, all effects removed. We're going to right click. We're going to replace it with an After Effects composition to bring this into Adobe After Effects. If you guys are only using After Effects, you can just start with an After Effects. I also want to mention while After Effects is loading up, if you're looking for any glow presets to add into Adobe Premiere, you can check out my website linked below. We have some really easy drag and drop stuff. Just drag that onto your clip. And then you can, of course, use your Lumetri color to change how much glow you're getting. Like I said, link below. Let's pop into After Effects. Let me show you how we can create this thermal look within Adobe After Effects. So we're going to go to Effects and Presets. We're going to search for the Colorama effects under Color Correction. Go ahead and place this on your footage and you'll see you're already getting a much better result and much closer to what we're looking for in that NHL 21 game trailer, uh, the example I showed you at the beginning. So if we open up our input phase, you'll see we can change this phase shift, which is going to give you kind of like a hue cycle through all these different very bright inverted colorama looks. Now with the output cycle, this is selecting your preset palette for the colors that you want in here. So if you want, you can go through some of these different presets. There's like a negative preset that gives you this really black and white um, invert. So you don't have to stick just with the thermal. You can use Colorama in general just to give you a great starting point. And then you can use the next tips I'm going to show you on creating the transition. So let's put this on hue cycle for now. Change the colors. Maybe you want more red in there. Cycle repetitions if you want to kind of make it like psychedelic looking. If you want a good preset start for that kind of thermal look that is that is in the trailer that I showed you, you can go to your use preset palette. And I like going down to sunset at the very bottom. That gives you a lot of oranges, a lot of purples, like I showed you in those examples. From here, it really comes down to just how you want to customize the look. If you want, you can add more yellows throughout here. Cycle them around this little palette wheel and you'll be able to fully customize how everything is looking. I'm also just going to open up the cycle repetitions here. And this is the thing that I mentioned. If you pop it up, it looks more kind of crazy and psychedelic. But if you lower that down, it'll soften things up a bit. So you see how the face has a lot of this kind of tearing. If we just kind of bump that down, it'll smooth everything out. And now you're starting to get the color that we ultimately want. Of course, you guys can go through and add any color correction effects on top of that if you want to add curves, if you want to have contrast, etc. So now that you have your starting point, you know how to create the look. Let me show you these five variation effects that go well with this look where we can create transitions off of this. We can combine effects and produce a lot of really interesting looks. So now that we've explained all of that, let's move on to our first little effect transition, whatever you want to call 
call it. So this is going to be a little cycle and flash out transition. Here's the example. Now let's create it. You can control shift D in After Effects, delete or hide all of the effects on the first clip. So it starts normal here and then quick cut into our thermal look just like that. So now let's select the second clip. Let's go up to the top left to our colorama or input cycle. And again, we have that phase shift little cycle meter here that we were talking about. And let's go ahead and use that to create some cool stuff. So we're going to start at the beginning here. We're going to click this keyframe button for our phase shift. We're going to cycle a bit and we don't want to go overboard, but maybe let's just uh, create this subtle little switch from purple to more red. You have it like that. You guys can also keyframe all of these things here. So you can switch it along with the phase shift. So if you want to get more in depth, you can keyframe the cycle repetitions. You, you can keyframe the output cycle. And whenever it goes to more red, maybe you want to change that around, kind of have a better balance of it. Maybe you want to bring in more yellow. So I'm just going to keep cycling these over here. And there you go. Just from adding a few little keyframes, we now have this color phase shift where it goes from this deep dark purple here in a kind of goes and flashes into this red. Now, if we open up our keyframes, you guys can better visualize what that's looking like. So if I grab this keyframe, move it closer in, you can have that flash a lot faster. You'll see how it just cuts in. And if I drag this keyframe back, it's gonna be more of like a cycle shift than a quick little flash. We can also just scroll all the way to the end here, control shift D, and again, we can go up to the top left in our effect controls and just hide all the effects off of there. So it kind of flashes back into normal. There you go, quick little keyframe animation to phase in and then just pop out. Mix and match different effects and plugins. Like I said, you guys have a lot of options. But there you go. All right, guys, variation number two. This is something that was in that NHL 21 trailer. That is animation. Another thing like the freeze frame that we've made countless videos on, countless different ways to do it. You can use After Effects, Photoshop, whatever it is you want to do. So I'll leave another tiny little mini playlist that I'll create um, of all different animation variations. But either way, I copied and pasted the little phase shift animation thermal flash that we did for the kicking the soccer ball clip earlier. I just pasted that onto this little snake clip. Now let's go and add in that animation. So it's as easy as just double clicking on your clip so that you're in a layer and not the composition. We're gonna go up to this little paint paintbrush brush tool here on the top left. Now on my right, you should see that your paintbrush tab should have opened up. Let me drag this up here so it's a little bit easier to see. And make sure that whenever you're doing this, you have this all the way dragged down. Sometimes people have this cut off and they say, oh, how do you change the single frame method? Make sure this is dragged down so you can see all of this. Change your duration, make sure it's on single frame and not the default of constant. So change that to single frame. Choose the color of whatever you want your line animation to be. Click and you can choose your brush as well. I'll go with this 13 and then you can go in and start drawing frame by frame. Let's also just turn off all these effects so that we don't get a little distracted here. And I recommend doing this with a drawing tablet. I like to use this little Wacom tablet whenever I do this. I'll put a link below if you're interested. But since we're gonna do this very fast, I'll just do it with my mouse here and we'll go in and draw some little lines. Once you do your first drawing, click page down on your keyboard to move to the next frame and you'll see it goes away and we can just keep doing the same thing. So. I kind of have the eye here. You can animate this kind of going around here. All right, guys, so as you can see, if we play that through, we play that through. Let's hop back into our composition here, turning back on our thermal flash. You can definitely see that this really does make the animation stand out a lot more. You have this oversaturated bright color. So whenever you have this just easy little white animation, it's very great for keeping your subject in focus and not washed away by all these crazy effects. All right, so for variation number three, let's switch it up. Let's bring in a new clip into After Effects from Adobe Premiere. So let's bring in this one of somebody kicking a soccer ball, pop into After Effects, and we can go back to our other composition. We can just copy and paste all of the thermal look that we did earlier onto our soccer ball clip. So we'll control C to copy that. We'll pop into our new comp. We're going to click control D to duplicate this and then control V to paste all of our crazy effects on. Now you can pop in here and maybe you want to 
Maybe you want to change things up again. All footage is going to look different. You can get some really cool stuff with the soccer ball here. So have fun with the experimentation. I think this is a good starting point. And this really looks like sparks flying up too. So this is a great little clip that we can work this on. So let's do the exact same thing. We let's set it up from normal. Control shift D where we want the thermal craziness to happen. Control shift D where we want it to end. And then we'll delete and keep the effects where we want them. So this clip, we want this to go back to normal. We'll delete these. Beginning clip, we want it to start normal. So normal, thermal, normal. So tip number three is adding overlay clips. So as you can see in this example here, the overlays that they use for this, they have this kind of modern looking kind of playbook, X's, O's, motion graphics stuff. If you guys are looking for any specific overlay clips, a quick little Google search can usually find you a bunch of royalty free sites where you can pick them up. I also have a bunch of starter packs on my website. If you are interested, just head over to video products. You'll see that a lot of these are free for you guys to download. Alternatively, quick little plug, you guys can use my animation pack which has a full extension for after effects as you can see here there's a lot of great little hand-drawn animation overlays that would work to spice this up as well i found some interesting stuff i'm also mixing and matching from my overlays and elements folder where i've just downloaded a bunch of stuff over the years from different websites so let's kind of add these in that's my third tip using overlays to mix and match and enhance the look of your thermal flashing effect so i dragged in this overlay clip i'm going to go to my blending mode and you guys can experiment with that so you can put it on more subtle so it kind of matches with the purple you can put it so it's on add if you want it more bright i dropped in two of these little mograph clips here i'll scale them down maybe right when we hit the ball and we can even keyframe this to follow so we'll open the full transform keyframe this all at our starting position and moving frame by frame i'm just clicking page up and page down we'll have this little mograph clip follow our ball and so there we go just combine in a couple overlays added this last one so it kind of breaks in you can do some really cool stuff here and this is just showing you each variation you can combine all of this maybe you want to go back in and combine in again like i said that phase shift what you can do to kind of really flash it so when we make contact with the ball here let's just keyframe in a little phase shift and again, remember, you can use this for any type of video, music video, sports video, dance video, whatever it is. Whenever you want that big explosion of energy in your edit, this thermal flash effect is a great way to be able to provide that. As a little bonus before we move on to the next variation, I want to point out these little montage transformation transitions that they do in the actual trailer. So at 132 in the video and at 140, you have these fast little scaling transformation transitions using the exact same technique that we did before. That I just wanted to show you this to give you guys some more ideas of how you can slap this effect onto your videos and just use simple little transform techniques get some cool little variation transitions like you see here all right guys variation number four we're going to be talking about a freeze frame effect we made a bunch of variations of the freeze frame in of itself on this channel before so i'm going to leave a little playlist below of all the things you really can do with this but just to show you two little examples for what you can do if you are wanting to only do this within after effects find the frame where you'd like to create the freeze frame effect select your layer click Control shift d to make a little split move over one frame you can click page down on your keyboard to do that Control shift d again now we're going to right click on this little frame here we're going to go up to time and we're going to click freeze frame now you can drag this up i'll rename that to freeze frame and you can drag this out for as long as you want now you'll see we have this frozen frame very easy to pull off Next, what you can do is you can go up to your masking tools in the top left. You can click G to bring up your pen tool. And just make a quick little outline here around your subject. All right, and there we go. So like I said, simple stuff that we did before on the channel, but here's where the thermal flash comes into play because you can use this to create a lot of different results out of it. So I'm gonna click M here to bring up my mask. I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of feather just to smooth out these edges here. And I'll move my freeze frame clip over so it starts a few frames before the transition. So if we play it out, this is what it looks like in full speed. Nice little transition in of itself, just having that in there. But let's add that thermal quick flashing around it. So there's a few things you can do. You can apply it to the freeze frame layer or you can apply it to the background layers. Let's start with the background layers here. Control shift D. So this is going to be the section where our transition really comes together. Now we can go back and apply our colorama just like before. So I can search my effects and presets, colorama. I can plop it down there, go in my effect controls, 
And I'm actually just going to copy and paste all of this um, good work that we did before onto the part that we want. So if you want the exact settings, rewind the video a bit to where we put that together. But let's control V to paste that. Let's start with this blend with original option here. We'll keyframe this and we'll make it 100%. So it's completely normal. Move in a bit, make that zero. You guys can also do the same with your phase shift. Again, we can crank up this value so that it kind of really goes red as we're moving along here like that. Bam, you have a real big flash going on. And if you want to, since we have all this crazy stuff happening in the background, maybe you could apply some sort of different effect or maybe a different colorama onto the foreground just to kind of have that pop out, whatever you guys want to do. And then let's do the same with our second clip that we transition into. We're gonna go up to our colorama that we placed on it. And we're going to first work with our blend with original, move forward and we'll put that up to 100% so it fades out. Bam, bam, just like that. So with a crop effect here, we've already created the duplication where if we hide this thermal layer, it's just the base footage, all the effects turned off, deleted. Again, we clicked Control D to duplicate this and we placed all of our Colorama effects over top of that. Now let's add one more thing onto here. Let's crop this. And this is a great way to highlight something specific. Uh, here's a great example of how they did it in the trailer. We can do it to highlight eyes, to highlight an instrument, to highlight anything within sports, whatever you want to draw your audience's attention to, this is gonna work great. Then After Effects, it's very similar. You just go up here. You can all click whatever shape is here to get what you want. I'm gonna work with a rectangle. I'm just gonna draw a rectangle around her eyes. And that's really about it. Like I said, this is gonna be very simple. If you want, what you guys can do is create this fast moving little montage. So maybe you want a square here, control shift D again to make a split. Or you want to do a combination adding in different masks so like that. Move over a frame, control shift. We'll make them each last like two frames, control shift D. Just click M, delete those and you keep drawing where you want. So maybe we'll place one here. Maybe we'll place one there. I'll kind of create this glitch pattern using using masking, using cropping. And there you go, as you can see, kind of have this glitched selection area. You guys can mix and match these variations. So maybe you want to tip, pull the first tip where we went into the cycle here and you can keyframe. You guys can do all that. You can get some really cool looking stuff just by doing that. So let's kind of crank that up a few times. So this one actually turned out pretty cool. And there you have it guys, some awesome variations. Again, an awesome effect, which you can use, which you can use for transitions or just to spice up whatever it is you are creating. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting and I'll see you guys in the next one.